There is one thing that every app needs, a login and sign up page. And today we're gonna learn to build it using Bubble if already code. Hi, my name is Guilherme Mira and welcome to the Mega channel. Today we will build together a login and sign up page using Bubble if already a single line of code. And we're gonna do it under 10 minutes. So if you're ready, let's go to the screen. Okay, so here we have an app that I'm working on, okay? I uh, already have built a login and sign up page, but we're gonna build another one for this video, okay? And remember, we're gonna do it in under 10 minutes and it's gonna be a full functional uh, page, okay? Uh, I have here uh, a page called Dashboard here we have the actual app, so we're gonna build a login and sign up page and where when the user is logging, it's gonna send the user to this dashboard page, okay? So first we need to create a new page. Uh, let me just, okay, so we're gonna do it under 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer, okay? And let's go. First, the name is login. Sign up. Uh, we can change the width. We're gonna work with one three fifty. And change the title to login. Now we can add uh, a group where we're gonna have um, at the same time the login and sign up function. I have a team here, but you can use um, any team you want, any design you want, okay? First, I'm gonna add two texts. First, one login, okay? Let me change it to uh, white text. Make a little bit bigger. Okay. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's change to sign up. And I'm gonna tell you what we why we are doing this uh, further okay so first we're gonna build the login okay so let's take an input and add an input that is gonna be the email we need to change the content format to email we can make make this a little bit wider again we can ctrl c ctrl v let's change the placeholder to password change the content format to password now we need a button to make the action okay Let's change here to login. Let's make the same width of the input. Uh, let's bring this a little bit down here. Uh, now we can add our text just for us to Talk to the user. What is this about? Uh, logging in your account. Okay, let's change to a white text. OK, 
okay we have here our design we can group this group elements in a group let's change the name to group login now to make this faster we can control c hide this element okay just this group and control c o okay. control v okay something went wrong come back here and copy let's hide it again and paste okay so now we can make this a little bit higher let's bring this button to here control c control v this password input let's change here to uh, confirm password Let's change it to sign up. Let's change it, change the button. Okay. Okay, now we can uh, we have our design. Okay, we need to make this um, that's uh, the change. Need to change the name of this group to sign up. And we need uh, make this not no visible on page load. Okay, so uh, let's start with the uh, sign up workflow. Click here in the button, start or edit the workflow. It's gonna be uh, come here to account, sign the user up, the email we're gonna get from the input email value password the input password value we're going to require um, password confirmation and input confirm password okay so now we can add another workflow to send the user to the dashboard page okay can come back here Hide this group and now into the login. You can come back here into the login button. Start add workflow. Click here to add an action. Account. Log the user in. The email we're gonna get from the input email. Okay, value. Password is gonna be the input password value. Okay and uh, here we're gonna make, uh, choose the navigation go to the page and choose the dashboard page okay now we have set or login and sign up now we need to make this um, make a workflow to show the login and sign up group okay so here in login you can start edit the workflow can uh, go to element actions and hide sign up group and show the login group and come back here into the sign up start and workflow element actions hide now the login we're gonna hide and we're gonna show the signing signing up group okay 
uh, I think that's it. Let's see if it's working. Almost there. Have the login, sign up, login again. You can. Password and sign up. Already have this email, so let's change it to one. Okay, so it's working, and we are about nine minutes. I'm gonna stop this timer. Okay, so. As you can see, we made it, okay? So that was easy, right? Uh, as you can see, we made it under 10 minutes and it's a totally functional login and sign up page. You can take these that we uh, have done here and add it into your own app. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about how to build your own app for writing code, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video, guys.